Phishing attacks are becoming increasingly sophisticated and they already can be difficult to distinguish from legitimate correspondence. ChatGPT and other AI models have come under recent scrutiny for their potential use in malicious cyber activity, with the focus mostly on reducing the time to generate code associated with malicious tools. While that remains a threat, the AI models can be used for much more simple application and one that will be more difficult to filter out from the systems, making phishing attacks more realistic. Hey folks, this is Ian Garrett in Arlington, Virginia. Europol, the pan-European policing body, has expressed concerns about the potential use of OpenAI's large language model, ChatGPT, by criminals for nefarious purposes. Europol announced that it would begin engaging stakeholders and organizing workshops to educate them on how criminals could employ AI models like ChatGPT. Experts share these concerns, citing the difficulty distinguishing between AI and human-crafted texts, enabling attackers with rudimentary skills to devise complex tools. One significant benefit of AI models like ChatGPT is its ability to mimic the English language with relative fluency, making it challenging to distinguish between authentic and fake emails. Attackers can prompt such apps to collect information on victims and generate realistic phishing emails, making them very difficult to spot and dangerous. Furthermore, ChatGPT can write code in different programming languages, which can be used to produce phishing pages or malicious Visual Basic for Application or VBA scripts. What worries authorities is that AI models could lower the entry bar for more sophisticated attacks from a large number of unsophisticated threat actors. Criminals could employ ChatGPT and other AI models for a range of nefarious purposes, including phishing, social engineering, and fraud. As a result, Europol has called for increased awareness and education to combat the potential misuse of AI models like ChatGPT. Search for and subscribe to It's 505 wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.